There's so much to discover at TPS. Let's go now to Toledo Express Airport to learn about flying high with aviation. Hi, this is Duran, and let's learn more about t aviation at um, TPS. We're a three-year high school career tech program where students not only graduate high school with their high school diploma, but also with a airframe and power plant rating from the FAA, and we've got a good portion of our students that will graduate with a two-year college degree upon completion of the program. Upon graduation and receiving their certifications, a lot of our students will go straight into the industry, working for a lot of your larger companies, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Delta, a lot of your airlines and so forth, but we get a lot of students as well that will work in corporate aviation. Some will pursue uh, careers being pilots, uh, and many will just uh, work on small aircraft here locally for a while before they venture out and expand their horizons in the aviation industry. A lot of our students are here because they're looking for something different than the traditional classroom. What's great about what we do here is we don't just sit in the classroom and learn about physics and algorithms. We actually, once we go through a, a curriculum, we actually come out and apply it in our hangar on our aircraft. And using uh, that curriculum in a practical application is what allows these students to uh, retain that knowledge. And uh, a lot of that is what sparks the interest, the fact that they're not just sitting in the classroom learning, they're also using their hands and applying them in a practical application. I know when I was in high school, let's say freshman year, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I know I like working on cars, and I knew that working on cars might be a dirty job. And I was just starting to face the fact that, you know, it was out there and I could do it. But then this program kind of caught my eye in the newspaper one day. My grandpa actually found it, and I came out here, I looked at their program, and I said, hey, why not work on airplanes rather than cars? So I came out, and I realized finally that you know, tools aren't very expensive, and then once you have your tools and you're re ready to go into the industry, you know, they pay top dollar for their technicians, and it's really an amazing field to get into because, you know, a lot of these kids graduating from high school, they don't understand the opportunities that are out there. And in the aviation field, you can work on multitudes of things, tons of things. You look at the aircraft behind me and you say, okay, I could work on this. I could work on the elevator, you name it you get to work on it and it's just a very enjoying career and fulfilling over the years. People are always fascinated by aircraft and that's kind of what's really unique about our program is the fact that they're not back at a high school someplace else. They're out here actually on the field at the airport, planes flying in and out all day long and it's just, it's a great environment. Uh, a lot of activity going on out here and it, it's motivating. Traditionally, career tech programs are two-year programs. We're a three-year program, so our students start here their sophomore year. Our juniors and seniors start class at 7 a.m., and they're here until 11.45. Then they go back to their high schools for their core classes. Our sophomores arrive at 12.30. They're here till 3 o'clock, and they have their core classes in the morning. There's three parts to the, uh, to the license. There's a general, an airframe, and a power plant. The sophomores are learning the general curriculum. The juniors are learning the airframe, and the seniors are learning the power plant. Typical day, our juniors are, they could be uh, removing or installing landing gear, control systems, doing rigging with the uh, aircraft controls, things along that nature. Our seniors in the power plant portion of the program, they're disassembling, inspecting, and completely rebuilding engines. Could be reciprocating engines, turbine engines, but upon completion, we actually install them in a test cell to test and run the engines. Personally, I plan on working on the big guys, so the corporate or the, uh, the airliners. So in that field, it's, it's very ad advantageous because you look at technicians on these small aircraft, and yes, they do, make a little bit less as far as income goes. Uh, but in the big airlines, you can top out at typically $38 an hour all the way up to $50 an hour. To get your A&P license as an adult, it would take you probably close to three years and cost you anywhere between fifty dollars and $80,000. Our students graduate high school with that certificate. And what's great about it is it's all paid for by the state of Ohio. It does not cost our student one dime to attend out here.